I started fiercely working on environment after the death of my mother who died 50 years old. She worked in a chemical laboratory in, in a metallurgical plant and she died without kidneys. When I wanted to invite uh, people from her shift to attend the funeral, I realized that from 12 people in the shift, nine were died before 55 years. So you can imagine how important for us is to fight for environment, good environmental conditions, not to lose the people we love. There are two main challenges that are facing mankind. One of them is to stop the growing deterioration in our natural environment. The other is for everyone to realize that environmental ills and social problems, including our economic stability or otherwise, are all interlinked. Biodiversity is like a stone wall with the big stones and the small stones and sands. But if the sand is falling every day, then the big stone would drop. Finally, the wall itself will collapse, and we are one of the stones. If we want life, if they want life, I'm finishing. They are in the beginning. Do they have to take care for the vicinity, because if not, the humankind will not survive, will not exist. And so we have to shift our priorities, a shift from material things to more on relationships, a more conscious effort to value relationships. And it is the earth that will help us in that shift in our perspective. Because if we value the earth and we look to the earth to teach us 